<sighs> Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. I don't know what happened there. I mean, something just happened to my internet connection. I think my little daughter, she started pulling the uh, the cord out of the, the internet cable. So pretty much, I just want to apologise for that. I'm going to have to start over over again. Um, I knew there was something going on. I mean, from sitting in the conservatory, it's not really the best signal. So what I've done is I'm going to sit a little bit closer to the box now. So hopefully she doesn't like start pulling the uh, the cord out again. But before we do it again to today's video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. I know um, we're getting closer and closer to 2,000 subscribers. And once we do start reaching that 2,000 subscriber mark, uh, there will be a giveaway for you guys. There will be uh, two Legion United shirts of your choice to, in a sense giveaway is like a subscriber like an appreciation to to my subscribers and appreciation for you coming back on a daily basis to um watch my uh, my channel i mean and there's bigger content creators out there but everybody who comes and watches the channel everybody who comes and watches the show um obviously i'm so appreciative of that so as you can tell by today's title we're going to be talking about the the, the situation surrounding uh, sam byron we're going to be talking about the the situation around um uh, Willie Nonto, and then obviously we're going to be talking about the situation around uh, the 49ers. So I, I want to start off by clarifying that as <laughs> there's been some news recently about Sam Byram uh, pretty much joining Leeds United. I know I made a video about it a couple of hours ago, um, and I got I got my facts wrong a little bit because uh, a lot of the time I I'll do like an impulsive video um, without actually doing a lot of research, and a lot of the time I will do research. And I will do, or I will get like the actual facts of what's actually happening of the article and the player or the manager that comes in or goes out type of thing. Um, so pretty much the situation surrounding uh, Sam Byram is, is that he's come to Leeds United to do some training. He's come to um, pretty much just to stay fit. He's just come to maybe come to just keep his options open. I mean, there was speculation of him coming on trial. Uh, at Leeds United, but that's not the case. I mean, if Leeds United do like him, I mean, he's had experience under Daniel Farker before, he's had experience playing in that type of system before. So, to me, I mean, it kind of makes sense because if Leeds United do like him and Daniel Farker is like, well, okay, well, maybe we can sign him, then that would be a, a, a decent shout for me. I mean, he did make 149 appearances for the team, scoring 10 goals and I think around about seven assists. Um, for Leeds United back in uh, just before I left from Norwich in 2016. So it's not it's not the fact that he doesn't have that experience. It's, he's 29 years old now and uh, he would be, in a sense, a decent fit for, for the championship. But then we have to put into perspective that we've got Cody Dramey, we've got Luke Aylin at right back. So are we going to put these players on the bench are we going to play Sam Byron over uh, Cody Drama and Luke Aylin I don't I personally don't think so I think Cody Drama with him having a fantastic experience at, at Luton he had a really good season at Luton and obviously got player of the uh, player of the season at Cardiff um so to me I think it would be a bit of a silly signing I don't know how Leeds United are going to go about this but in my opinion I think it's going to be uh, a, a no-go from from me so into, the, into other news Everton are now stepping up their interest when it comes to Willie Nonto uh, a a source from Ital it, it, Italian media the Italian Sky Sports over there have pretty much said that now Everton are now back in the race to sign uh, Willie Nonto and a lot of people are questioning me because when I bring out videos saying that uh, Everton can uh, buy players they're just well well it's like well what about the FFP rules what about uh, the investigation and this and that you just got to remember as well it's like they got a lot of money from the sales of Richarlison they got a lot of sales from um, Gordon when he went to, to to Newcastle so they would have accumulated about 100 million pounds from there um, and this season as well they're, they're going to be able to accumulate a few more extra bit of money from selling like the, the likes of Damari Gray. He's supposed to be going to to um, a Saudi Arabia club. So there is a few players that have gone out already from Everton, which is going to be able to bring in funds uh, to be able to buy players like that. I know they've brought in free agents when it comes to, to Ashley Young, but when it comes to negotiations with Leeds United over Willie Nonto, I think it's going to be difficult. Um, with the 49ers, obviously, they're wanting 40 million quid on. Uh, but at the same time, with us buying him for around about three to four million pounds, any bit of money, whether that's 10, 15, 20 million, 
that's like tripling, quadrupling our profits that we had, um, or what would be given to us if it was to sell uh, Willy Nonto. And Everton are going to play that. They're going to they're going to look at that. But look, you're making so much money off Willy Nonto. We'll buy him for cheap. You walk away with lots of profit. Blah blah blah. And we'll go from there. And I don't know how the Leeds United are going to go about things because it's like there's there's Max Forber, he wants to be gone. There is um, Stroik, he wants to leave. Patrick Bamford's also been rumoured to leave. Uh, Junior Firpo, he's obviously he's been rumoured to, to go to Galatasaray. So there's all these players who are constantly going out. And it's, it's worrying me a little bit because obviously this is where the title comes into it, where uh, Phil Hayes pretty much said that he's worried for Leeds United's future in the next couple of months because... With the EFL continuously finding new investors in Leeds United, does that mean the progress of the EFL is slower or is going to continue to be slow? Uh, because there's investor after investor after investor who's coming into, 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 into Leeds United. I mean, in the past week, there's been, what, three more people? So with the likes of these new people coming in, they're going to have to do background checks on him. They're going to have to do investigations, whether the, the criminals, the tax frauds, and they've got any like convictions into like money laundering and stuff like that. So as, as easy as it is for us to sit here and say, well, they can't have done that, blah, 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 just accept it. It has to be properly investigated and it has to be like the proper method. Um, so we it could take two, three, four, even five weeks to, to in a sense accepts every single people, every single person, should we say, to to become the Leeds United member. I mean, what is there, about 14 members now? 13 members or 13 inve uh, investors at Leeds United? So if that's the case, then they've got 13, 14 people to investigate. And if it takes longer than a few weeks, then we're going to be screwed because the, the, the championship starts in a few weeks, you know? And if we can't bring in players, if this is the simple reason we can't bring in players then I'm honestly so worried. And Phil Hayes actually come out saying that he's worried that Leeds United are not going to sign anyone. He believes that Leeds United are not going to be able to sign anyone this July and August transfer window due to the fact that it's taking so long for the 49ers to be accepted. But that also confuses me, in a sense, because it's like, well, how are we allowed to bring in Nick Hammond? How are we allowed to loan out players? How are we allowed to uh, bring in coaching staffs New people are work, working behind the scenes, uh, players f like for the under 18s, under nine, uh, under 21s and stuff like that. So it confuses me on whether the 49ers are actually investing their money into, into Leeds United or are they skin? They're, they're the two questions that I'm asking. They're probably the questions that you're asking. And, and it worries me because if we're going to continuously sell players then I personally don't see Leeds United going up. I had confidence, you know, I had confidence that Leeds United were going to go back up straight away because with the, the, the reports of having an aggressive budget and Daniel Farkas players coming in and Nick Hammond going to be able to bring all these types of players in, I was so positive. But then now with Leicester buying players, Southampton buying players, in a sense holding on to their main assets, whereas Leeds United, we're not doing that. I can't see us going straight back up. I said in my video a couple of, uh, I think a couple of weeks ago, I think Leeds United are finishing the top, uh, top six, but I think it'd be more so in the playoffs. I think Leicester will go up automatically. And then I think in the second spot, I think it's going to be uh, either Middlesbrough or Southampton. I personally don't think Leeds United are going to go straight back up this season. And this is what I was having a discussion actually at work. And it was, it, he was like arguing with me and he was pretty much saying, because I was one of these positive fans, like, oh yeah, okay, we've come down, we'll keep all these players, bring in some more additions and we'll go back up. But he was arguing that it took Daniel Farker two seasons. And when he first came over to England, it took him two seasons to, in a sense, implement his style of play. Um, and it took him two seasons to get um, Norwich into the Premier League. And I thought, in the long term, I thought, okay, well, maybe he makes some sense. Maybe he's Leeds United could have maybe two seasons in the championship and that's it. But I don't I don't I don't want that. I mean not a lot a lot of Leeds fans won't want that either, but I personally don't want that. But if it takes longer than two years, then I'm gonna be very worried because the the players that we have, like say we managed to keep hold of like Tyler Adams, he's been like priced at 40 million. The longer we stay in the championship, the less and less value he will have. So if we were to stay in the championship for one more season 
he'll probably go for maybe like 20 million pounds instead of 40 million pounds, if that makes any sense. So Leeds United really need to get back into into the Premier League and it worries me. I mean, if we was to do sell Willy Nonto um, to, to, to Everton, like the sources say in Italy, uh, Sky Sports source in Italy, then I don't know what's happening. I mean, they're going to be a bit stupid letting him go for like 20 million pounds, 22 million pounds. Uh, I know it was rectified the other day that it was like agent talk, but now obviously there's more sources saying that it's true. But I guess we're just going to have to wait and see on that. So, I mean, with the likes of Patrick Bamford, with the likes of Junior Firpo, Max Verber and Pascal Stroik now linked away, it also worries me with that because we're going to end up with no experienced players. And I don't know what the plan is with the 49ers. I really don't understand that. Um, so... Hey, oh, thank you for the super chat line. That means a lot. <laughs> thank, thank you. Um, but it worries me in that sense because I'd love to, to get back into the Premier League and do what Aston Villa are doing, do what Brighton are doing and use their blueprint to, in a sense, run a proper football club because with how Victor Arthur and Radrazani ran the club, I thought it was abysmal. I mean, who buys a player, yeah? Who buys a player for £30 million and then puts a release clause on if we was to get relegated for £3 million? Who does that? And then puts every like aspect, or every player, should we say, on loan moves. If we was to get relegated, yeah? Who does that? Who decides, okay, well, we're going to put you guys on a loan, even though you guys are the, res the, the reasons why we got down, like we're responsible for that. You know, and then you get like Brandon Aronson and Robin Cork and Meslier thinking that they're bigger than the club, thinking that they're better than what they are, when that's not true. I personally think, right, if players are going to be like that, if players are going to sit there and say that they're bigger than the club or think they're bigger than the club, get rid of them. I don't want them here, you know? But if there is players, like, even though people don't like it, and if the rumours are not true, if Patrick Bamford or Vorba, Adams all want to stay at the club or manage to stay at the club, Jack Harrison, another one, then it just goes to show how loyal they are to, to the club, you know? And we need players who are going to die for this shirt. I mean, Hamer, he was, and obviously he was linked to the club, wasn't he? But I personally don't think he's going to come down because uh, with him, uh, it, Fulham's interest, I mean, with how Fulham are run at the moment, their team's unbelievable, but it's like as well, is he going to replace Paulinho? Because I personally don't think so. Paulinho is a fantastic player. If you don't know him, search him. Go do some uh, like on his on his on his on his research on on, on YouTube. He's he's a fantastic centre midfielder, centre defensive midfielder, just where Hamer plays. But at the same time, it's like Leeds United are going to go out there and spend ten million pounds, twelve million pounds on a centre midfielder who might not want to play in the Championship anymore, and who might not want to play for Leeds. You know, so it it's very difficult to sit here and say. Uh, hang on, I'll just check the chats. Uh, there we go. Uh, that we're not going to be able to sign anyone, and uh, they only have to check in the fortnight. Uh, I yeah, uh, well, that's fair enough. I mean, if that's the, that's the case, then then the, the, the 49ers should be pretty much accepted because I don't know how the 49ers are run. I don't know how um, how they run over in, 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 in America. But if it is the, the just the simple 49ers, then they should be all accepted because they've, they've, they've been proven that they're not tax frauds. They've been proven that they haven't got any sort of like criminal activity. They've, they've been proven that they're not working for like the government, shall we say. So it's like, why is it taking the EFL to... Um, I accept uh, Radrazani's or um, the 49ers, should we say? Sorry, the background. Uh, people just shouting. <laughs> but no, I mean, um, I don't understand why it's taking so long. Um, I guess we'll just have to just have to wait and see. But yeah, anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Sorry if it's just been a bit of a, a little bit of a mess. Uh, I should have got some notes down. But overall. Uh, Willie Nonto has now been linked again to um, to Everton due to Sky Sports in Italy. Um, the 49ers situation going on 
Obviously, I've explained about the Sam Byram situation that he's not on trial. He's not going to be joining Leeds United. He's just in training at this present stage. Whether Daniel Fack will want him or not, I'm not 100% sure. But, um, yeah, I might do another live stream again in a, in a couple of days. But this time, I'm going to make sure I've got um, some notes because this is only my second live stream. So I'm a little bit, I get a little bit nervous sometimes um, to, to, to just to talk to, to, to talk to people. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Also, before you leave, um, once we do get to 2,000, subscribers uh, we'll be doing a giveaway we're going to be giving away two Leeds United shirts of your choice of next season whether that's the home kit whether that's the away kit we'll just have to wait and see and as soon as we get there I'll do a draw and and, and you guys will be uh, entered in into the giveaway so thank you so much for watching and I guess I'll see you in the next one peace